वेलकम टू द मुक कोर्स साइबर स्मार्ट टीचर 2.4 साइबर स्मार्टनेस ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट आर द डूज ऑफ यूजिंग द सोशल मीडिया इन एजुकेशन डू यूज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया जुडिशियली टू एंगेज स्टूडेंट्स एंड एनहांस लर्निंग सोशल मीडिया कैन बी अ वैल्यूएबल टूल फॉर एंगेजिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड एनहांसिंग लर्निंग यूज इट टू शेयर रिसोर्सेस facilitate discussions and collaborate on the projects so these are the things where it is required to be used by the different kind of social activities a group activity there the use of social media will be useful whenever and if required then only use the social media otherwise the other pedagogy the approaches can be adopted but if you think as a teacher if the use of social media is required then only you use it do set clear guidelines for social media use in education establish clear guidelines for how social media should be used professionally and in the classroom including rules for example netiquette for appropriate behavior and respectful communication when you are encouraging your students to use the social media you also help them to understand how, how the how the behavior can be appropriate and respectful for the others so they will also be a active citizen on the social media these guidelines can be informed to the parents so because if the students are using the social media from home the parents will be also observing how the students are behaving on social media do encourage information literacy be aware about it and help stakeholders about how to critically evaluate online sources identify fake news and navigate social media platforms safely and responsibly there are many groups many users their purpose yes is just to spread a proper uh, their agenda for that purpose they create fake news fake post hate post these posts are shared and if we are not having the information literacy we trust on them and not only we trust but we also try to forward it so be alert about the information literacy and keep our stakeholders also literate do monitor online activity be sensible about online time keep an eye eye on students online activity to ensure that it it is appropriate and respectful ensure not to engage them in online activities if not necessary keep identifying members are in the group so not only for the student but for ourselves we should be aware about how much time we can spend online activity how it is safe and how it is good for our health ensure not to engage them online unnecessarily because they have the limited time and we want student to play physically to carry out other activities so we should also take care that they will not be addicted by spending additional time on social media if there are groups on social media and uh, it's your responsibility to observe the members to identify the members regularly it may happen that uh, some unknown person can join and that can be risky for our students so regularly keep monitoring the members on in the group do protect students privacy respect student privacy by only sharing information that is necessary and relevant to their education for example avoid sharing the photographs of minor students on social media we should not share as a teacher we should have the permission from the parents and our authorities to share these pictures on social media the unnecessary unnecessary details of the students should not be shared on social media whatever we are sharing personally or professionally if the students are involved the our school authority and the parent should be taken in the in the consideration and then only we should share if the students are the part of the social media post be rational while sharing uh, anything on the social media try to understand what is private and what is personal personal thing that is related with you and with you as a person and private thing that is that you want to keep the things private from the other people from the social media 
suppose you are doing something uh, educational activities social activities in a public platform in a public domain you are attending seminars attending conferences teacher training courses you are visiting parents uh, in that uh, those are the personal thing that you can share that is your choice but some things are uh, private that is uh, with your private life like your family with your family members and your friends so not necessary everything should be share on the social media be mindful what is your private information and what is your personal information try to share the personal information to for which is helpful for your career which is helpful to make your profile and the private thing that is maybe risky to share the personal the, the, the private details with the unknown use users be careful about your health and about your student self think about how much time can we spend for the social media uh, for educational purpose so engage the student for that much time give them assignment or whatever activities you are planning consider how much time they will spend they will have to spend on social media and accordingly you plan your social media activity in education and the same thing should be determined for yourself that how much time will you spend every day on social media there are many social media apps or who who will inform you that how much time you are spending on particular social media also try to uh, be careful about the uh, psychological health of yourself and uh, your student self see that they will not get uh, addicted by the social media by sharing uh, too many things too many uh, things on the social media if it is educational use try to be rational while using it so their uh, the educational use should not foster them to be addicted on the social media itself and an environmental try to keep the school environment more face to face mode and if if necessary if some things are Uh, required very much required to get connected then only you can use the social media platform for the educational purpose otherwise whatever offline mode is available which is more safer should be always given the priority so these are some of the do's when you are using social media in education thank you for watching complete video